So there's a fairly common failure in logic and reason that I simply can't stomach anymore. And I think it's high time that someone addresses this shit. It just so happens I'm going to be that someone. So oftentimes around the sports world, you'll hear people say that because a guy made it, he's better automatically then than the guy who didn't make it. But I'm here to tell you that that's fucking bullshit. For example, just making it to the NFL is not a measure that proves you're better than the guy who didn't make it to the NFL. There's guys that I played with in high school that were 50 times better than a lot of the guys that get D1 scholarships. And those guys never got a scholarship. Similarly, there's guys that I played with in college that are 50 times better than a lot of the guys you see in the NFL. And also there was guys that I played with in arena football that were 50 times better than a lot of the guys you see on the sideline Sunday after Sunday after Sunday in the National Football League. So making it to the next level is not a litmus test of talent. It's not a litmus test of who's better. The guy who made it is not automatically better than the guy who didn't make it. Because just like any other business or corporation, the NFL requires a lot more things than fucking talent. They want to know what your behavior is like. They want to know how you are off the field. They want to know your temperament, your background, the things you've said on social media. They want to know if you're a team player. They want to know if you are nice to babies. They want to know if you're, you're coachable and nice to your coaches. They want to know if you work hard and stay after and, 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 and uh, work hard and practice. All kind of shit. In college, you got to have good enough grades and go to class. There's all kind of fucking shit that you got to be good at and that you got to do and these hoops that you got to jump through in order to move on. And if you don't jump through those hoops and you don't meet those requirements, well, then it's just not for you. But that doesn't mean that you're not as good talent-wise than the guy who did fucking make it. I mean, how many guys do we all fucking know from our neighborhoods that were fucking better than anyone we've ever played with at any level but for some reason, they just didn't make it, right? They didn't, ha they didn't have the grades. Maybe they had got a DUI. Maybe they had uh, got a girl pregnant early on when they were young, and, and then they didn't go to class and shit. There's all kind of these fucking stories. But talent-wise, pure talent-wise, the guy who made it to the NFL is not automatically better than that guy because they did make it. Nah. And also, one last thing based on this faulty line of reasoning. If it were true that making it means that you're better than the guy who didn't make it, then that would mean the NBA player Brian Scalabrini was better than Demetrius Hook Mitchell. And if you don't know who Hook Mitchell is, why don't you look him up?